Every year, thousands of young people dream of a career in the creative industries. In this series, six debutantes will be given a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of being mentored by industry experts who are at the top of their game. With competition in the creative industries being so fierce, it takes more than just talent to make it to the top. Our mentors are bespoke Savile Row Taylor Oswald Boateng, Radio 1 DJ Nihal, UK rap sensation Kano, award-winning pop promo director Sarah Chatfield, editor of glossy men's magazine GQ Dylan Jones, and celebrity portrait photographer Rankin. Chosen from a group of keen amateur photographers, Naomi takes on photographer Rankin's challenge to direct and photograph a professional studio shoot with a top model. I'm worried about how much I've got to change because I've got this idea um, and to be quite honest, I can't think of another idea other than this idea because it's got so ingrained. My name is Naomi and I really want to be a photographer. When I'm doing photography, I just get so excited. I can't stop talking about it, I can't stop wanting to do it. I get withdrawal symptoms when I don't. Me and Dad in France, my sixth birthday. Last day in Bournemouth, my first hamster. Who else? <laughs> if I don't have a camera somewhere, I get all, I need to take a photo. As soon as I was given a camera, it was when I about seven, I tried to set up fashion shots. Ever since then, that's what I've loved doing. I've got a fair amount of cameras, Polaroids, digital SLR, manual SLR, got a panoramic, throwaway ones as well. A fair amount of cameras. <laughs> this experience of being a debutant is absolutely fantastic. To have this opportunity is more than I could have wished for. It's just a wonderful privilege and a blessing. You can't define how to become a good photographer. It's something that you, you, you've got to love and want to do it so much that you can, you can bring something to it. Rankin is an internationally known photographer and magazine publisher. After launching the uber cool fashion and style magazine Dazed and Confused in the early 90s, he's gone on to build a photographic portfolio that includes everyone from Bjork to the Queen. One in probably a thousand photographers succeed at getting regularly commissioned and, and, and making a living out of it. It's not as glamorous as you think it would be and it's definitely not as easy as most people think it would be. Naomi makes her way to Rankin's studio to meet him for the first time. Portfolio in hand, she's keen for him to assess her photographic work so far. So, this is your portfolio. I mean, I think that's a really good photograph. He never, ever smiles. For me, that's a great photograph. And I kind of like this one. This, for me, is not sophisticated. I like okay. a smile, but it's, it, it, again, it's not, as, it's not as accomplished as the others. Yeah. You're pre-college sort of college level, so you've got a talent. You can take a photograph, but your technical uh, yeah. capabilities are very minimal. After giving Naomi's portfolio the once-over, it's important for Rankin to get a feel for how she works in practice. So he sets her a little test. I think what we should do is start off with you taking a photograph of Thule, yeah? Thule's my girlfriend okay. and is um, the, kind of my muse, I suppose, and I photograph her all the time. So out of all the people in the world that I could get you to photograph, she's probably the hardest. Okay. Because I'm the most critical of, of um, photographs of her, yeah. especially by other photographers. Okay. All right. All right, then. A bit more. Yeah. It's just a bit scrubby. Yeah. Look at me. So with the first test shoot over, Rankin casts his professional eye over the results. I think what you should do now is go away and try and take a photograph for something specific. And I think we should do it as if it's a, a portrait for Days Confused, mm -hmm. which means that you need to go away and research how yeah. photographs are taken with hair, with makeup, with styling. Yeah. And that means you need to get a team around you to help you. Mm -hmm. And I also think you should try doing a couple of shots maybe in this week coming, send them to me so that you don't go into it without having a, had a little bit of practice. We set the challenge of going away, learning a little bit about lighting, um, doing a few test shots with lighting 
and hopefully working with hair and makeup artists um, to eventually come back next week and do a shoot uh, with Thule again. I just need to do some reading on the technical side of things and so that I can go back and show him, look, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. I'm deadly serious about the fact that I want to do photography. So here's the challenge, to direct and photograph a professional studio shoot with top model Thule. With no formal training, Naomi heads straight to the library to brush up on the more technical side of photography. Just got these books from the library and I've got to say they are very overwhelming. I've got to learn about 45 degree angles, snoot, soft boxes. You know, I'm going to take Rankin's advice, read up on it, try and you know, learn what I need to so that I can really do what he wants me to do on Wednesday and not fail. <laughs> now she's studied the theory, it's time to put it to the test. The next morning, with a little help from her friends, she directs her first studio shoot. I've never actually properly, on my own, um, used lighting sets or even a studio setup. I know this isn't a proper studio, but it's the closest I've ever been to it. Hey! That's wrong around. And I haven't had to direct my own team before. Touch up a bit more up the top, make it a bit darker. Bit darker, yeah. Okay. Okay, one, two, three. Ah, <laughs> oh, missed that one. With her test shoot over and having emailed her photos to Rankin, Naomi waits for his feedback. Hello. How are you getting on? All right, thanks. How are you? For me, uh, the two shots that I really like are the lying down shots. I think they're the better, the best shots because they're they're kind of more interesting than than the kind of more conventional ones. You know, try and do the more unconventional poses okay. because they're so much more interesting than something you've seen in, in a photography magazine or in a fashion magazine. What did you think of the leaves? Shall I stick with the leaves? I mean, in all honesty, I think leaves and smoke and stuff is a little bit too, too gimmicky. All right. It's not my style of photography and I don't think you necessarily need it. At the moment, what she's showing me, it reminds me of a shoot that would be in Tatler, which is not a bad thing, but it's not the brief that I gave her. I'm worried about how much I've got to change because I've got this idea. Um, and to be quite honest, I can't think of another idea other than this idea because it's got so ingrained. I've got to take risks now with my photography, which I don't normally do. Time's running out and Naomi still has everything to do. She wants her final shoot with Thule to be a success. Oi! The next morning she hits the streets to blag some dresses for a big shoot. And um, what about this one? This is cut asymmetrically as well. Right. It's fabulous. It's beautiful. With the dresses in the bag, Naomi rushes over to the studio to brief the team. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Naomi. I'm Michelle. Michelle. Makeup. And set up her equipment. With Thule on set and the pressure rising, things start to fall apart as the poles that hold up her blackout curtain fail to turn up. I think they're going pretty well, and apart from the fact that we don't um, have frame for the blacktop yet. With the clock ticking, the poles for a blackout curtain arrive in the nick of time. Just trying to work out how this goes up there. While the team erect the pole for the backdrop, Thule gets touched up in makeup. With everything finally in place, the big shoot begins. So yeah, just imagine you're a child again. Just go back to playful, go back to... <laughs> <laughs> really nice, really. Thank you. Awesome. You tried movement a bit with it, kind of just like, yeah. That's really nice. Three. One, two, three, go. Nice one. It's a wrap. But what will Rankin think of the final shots? I think it's better than the shots we talked about on the phone that you mm. sent me through. I think because you've, you've kind of gone further with the theme. That's great. That one's wicked. <laughs> They're definitely quirky, that's for sure. <laughs> Lighting-wise, it's still, for me, a little bit, you know, yeah, I would push the lighting a bit more, but I think you've come on loads, and I'm really happy with the results. I don't think they're quite ready for Days Confused yet, but I think what would be good is if you came and did like a couple of weeks with Rank of Photography 
as an intern and see how you got on with that. Yeah? Would you like that? That would be fantastic. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Well Thanks. done. Should we give a round of applause? <laughs> I figured that it would be like 10 years time when I'd be in a situation like this. It's really shown me that I have potential um, to definitely go for this as a career because I can do it. <laughs>